you know, I went to my mailbox today, and, uh, you know, every month I get letters. This one is a letter from the Neptune Society. Actually, I, I feel very close to the CEO, uh, Tim, Tim Nicholson. He's written me several times, and uh, he's given me a fabulous offer to win a prepaid cremation. Um, or I can prepay my cremation, because for many people today, cremation is the modern, uh, sensible choice. It's very dignified. But I want to write a letter back because I, I, I have to express some very serious things. Um, and I have to share this with the people because this could happen to anyone who goes to their mailbox. Uh, dear Tim, CEO, President, Neptune Society, um, I want to thank you for your heartfelt letter to win a prepaid cremation. But I'm a bit confused about what seems to be an oxymoron because if I win a free cremation, then it would not have to be prepaid. But I am very happy to report that I can write to you all about this because at this point in time, I'm very much alive. Okay, so I've taken your advice to read your letter in detail, as it tells me here, take a few minutes today to think about the important benefits of making arrangements in advance. Unfortunately, these have been a few minutes of my life that I can't get back. Your letter tells me that a simpler way of life makes sense for a lot of people these days. And I am trying to understand how being cremated is a simpler way of life, although you may know something I don't. Now, your letter seems to focus on the living. Perhaps I've taken it for granted, mistakenly, uh, that all of your clients are deceased. But please, correct me if I've misunderstood. Um, you know, your letter tells me also that waiting will cost me more. And I'm trying to understand how this will cost me anything because I won't be here. Although I was thinking about using my Alaska airline miles because I won't need them anymore to pay for this after I'm dead. I'm wondering, Tim, will that work for you? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that will work for you. Uh, now, I receive your letters every month in anticipation of my demise. And although I do not plan on my death in the near future, I am becoming increasingly aware of my mortality. But it heartens me that so are you, Tim. You are a true friend. However, I have one major concern here. My wife did use your services. And I have to report, I haven't seen her since distressing. Now, Tim, I feel that through our correspondence, mostly on your part, that we have shared some great intimacy. I feel close to you. I feel close to you. It is so reassuring to know that when I kick the bucket, you will be there with a match.